I am Dr. Thor for Darso and I'm a volcanologist. Um, in terms of research, it's focused on volcanic activity in Iceland, uh, Hawaii, and also in New Zealand. And uh, uh, the main purpose there is to understand how eruptions take place, how they behave, and what impact they have on society in order to help us to mitigate hazards better in, in, in the future. Well, there's no way we can stop a volcano from erupting. That's, that's one, well, let's keep that uh, on, on the table because that, you know, I don't think we will ever been able to do that. But what we can do is actually to learn to live with the volcanoes. And by that I mean is understand the, the potential impact they can have on communities and, and what type of impact it has. And then think about how we can actually minimize those impacts by preventive measures. I work on a volcano called Askia, which is in the centre of Iceland, and I'm interested in what happens underneath the volcano, so where the melt comes from and what happens to it before it erupts from the volcano. The research that I do is important because it, it helps us to understand how the volcanoes behave better, and if you understand um, how often the volcano is going to erupt and what kind of thing it will do, like producing an ash cloud that will disrupt the airspace. You can start to plan for that kind of event and work out what the hazards are going to be and how you can make your society much safer. My PhD focuses on the topic of tephrochronology, which involves identifying and correlating volcanic ash layers across the North Atlantic region. My research contributes a lot to the scientific community by providing a mechanism for dating and correlating events across a vast area, for example for paleoclimate studies or for archaeological studies. For the real world, my work really focuses on identifying how many eruptions have occurred and how far they travel and therefore it adds in towards hazard mitigation studies.